I'm uh, shooting a little bit of video here. So to uh, adjust the camera plates on the Fitch in Camaro, Ryan is uh, tightening the four top nuts now. Essentially, you loosen these four nuts, and then you slide the camber in outboard or inboard for more negative inboard, more positive outboard. And it helps you have to have the car off the ground. You have, as you can see here, we have the suspension unloaded so that there's not a load on the camera plate. It's just off the ground enough to where this can, uh, once you loosen these nuts, it can slide in and out. Dropping it down. We got about three and a half degrees of negative camber on stock suspension. And you go any more than that and you start, things start running into each other. There's still more inboard travel here at that camber setting. Uh, but the OEM perch and the OEM spring are bigger and they physically run out of room in the tower, start running into things. All right, this is a fifth gen Camaro. It's got our pre-production camber plates on it. We have actually already made a camber plate run right now and these are in production. So this is a camber only adjustment. Uh, as you can see, the camber moves inboard or outboard to adjust the camber. You loosen these four nuts, raise the car off the ground, and you can pull the wheel in and out to move the top of the strut in and out, and that adjusts the negative camber. This nut, once the top and bottom pieces are sandwiched around the tower, that nut is loctited in place and doesn't move. Uh, and the bearing holder can move relative to this sandwich stack underneath the tower itself. As you can see, there's a uh, what we call a binary ring. It's got a pointer on it. It gives you some reference marks. These don't equate to any degrees or anything. Uh, they're just for reference. The actual camera adjustment you will get depends on your uh, total ride height, and as the car gets lower, every setting on that plate will be more, more negative. And they made some changes to the strut tower to accommodate this strut tower brace, and both towers have the same indention, uh, and that made it a little bit trickier for us. Uh, we're trying to keep the stack up height of the camera plate as short as possible, and our camera plate and spring perch uh, for the OEM spring, which is a much bigger diameter spring, it can run into this dimple in the tower as it goes more inboard. So on an OEM spring setup or a lowering spring, you're not going to get as much camber as this car, which has a 60 millimeter spring uh, because it's using a Bilstein PSS 10 kit, and we've changed it to a 60 millimeter spring and, and 60 millimeter upper perch. And it lets us go to all the way into the circular opening of the tower. Uh, if we actually cut that pie-shaped piece out of the tower, the camera plate has more travel and can go even further inboard. This particular car, I think we had three and a half degrees of negative camber um, at this ride height, and with the cutting of the tower, we could probably get closer to four degrees. It's got a little bit stiffer spring that comes in the PSS 10 kit, and it worked pretty well for autocross and track use. Negative camber actually helps you run a bigger wheel and tire up front. Uh, we run a 1911 with a 305 tire on this car and it easily clears under the stock fender. Uh, those wheels are off the car at the moment. These are the 20 by 10 and 20 by 11 one LE factory wheels. So on the OEM spring, we, uh, we have to check, you know, there, you can move it so far that the spring runs into that dent in the tower I showed. And that's what he's checking now, he's, he's going, steering it uh, left and right for lock, and it's not making any popping noises, which means the spring is not hitting the tower, which is good. Sounds good. I don't hear it. So this is stock suspension, and I mean, the alignment rack's at three and a half degrees, so it, it definitely, it looks pretty negative. <laughs>